Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my body. And before we start any lessons, my friends, it's very important for us to sanitize. This is sanitizer and we are going to use it on our hand. Now, when you are sanitizing, you make sure that you rub inside your hands, round and round your hands, in between your fingers <laughs> and on your wrists. Then you will be ready. Well done! For today's lesson, we will be doing midline crossing hard and soft. For our first activity, boys and girls, let us turn to page three. On page three, there are a number of fun activities that we are going to do today. The first one I would like you to do is to write your name on the line. So you are going to take your pencil and write your name on the line. I am going to do the same here on the board. Please take your pencil and you're going to write your name. I will start my name with a big letter, a capital letter M. Mm. So you must also start your name with a big letter. So mine starts with M. Mm. And remember, when you are writing, take your time. You don't need to rush. I have my M. Mm. Then I have an in my name. So I'm going to continue. Remember you are writing your name and not teacher's name. <laughs> the next one that I'm going to write is a t. So I'm starting at the top. If you have a t in your name, you must copy teacher for the t. There we go. I have a nice t. And then in my name, I have a s, a small letter s. So I am going to write my s. There it is. And the last letter in my name is an a. So I am going to write a. Go round. And down. And there is my name. Did you write your name as well? Good job, clever boys and girls. Remember, this is your name and not anybody else's, so you can take your time and write it neatly. Let's now see what we are going to do next on page three. 
On page three, we are going to play a little game. Oh, wow! And the game is the touch game. But before we do the touch game, we need to first know the right hand and the left hand. So let us take a look at teacher. Teacher has two hands and on her right hand, she has red. So this is your right hand. There we go. If you're looking, this is your right hand. Yes, everyone, let's wave with our right hand. Oh, hello. <laughs> and I want you to put something on your right hand so that you remember. It can be anything. I have some string with some bottle tops. So I know that this is my right hand. And then teacher has another hand and the hand is the left hand. Now the left hand also has bottle tops. This time they are blue. So you can also put a different color on your hand as well. So this is my right hand and then this is my left hand. Now you can see the difference. Yes. So we're going to play a little game. With our right hand, put your right hand up. Remember, you can ask your family members to help you tie a string around your right hand. It can be anything, even a shoestring or a scrunchie, anything that you can use to tie. So we have the right hand and we're going to start our game. Here is our right hand. Now with your right hand, Please touch your nose. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Very good. This is your nose. Well done. Let's try again. With your right hand, please touch your left eye. Left eye. Boop, 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 boop. This is your left eye. Very good. So you actually cross over your nose and go to your left eye. So everyone, let's touch our left eye with our right hand. There we go. Good job, my friends. You are clever. Let's try again. With your right hand, please touch your right eye. Ear. Oh, yes! This is our right ear. And everybody, you can see that we didn't have to cross our face. We just needed to touch our right ear. So touch your right ear with your right hand. I think Mr. Right Hand has had enough today. Let's put him away. And we are going to say hello to the left hand. Now, with your left hand, please touch your lips. Do, 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 do. Yes, these are your lips. They are the top, there's the top lip and the bottom lip. And when you smile, your lips go back. So please touch your lips with your left hand. Well done. Now, please touch your right eye with your left hand. Let's go. Doop, 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 doop. <gasps> Teacher is wrong because this is the left. I said right. So let's go to the right. Yes, this is the right eye. Remember, you will be crossing from your left to your right eye. 
So you are now touching your left, your right eye with your left hand. <laughs> okay, now let's see if we can do it with both hands in the air. So wave with your right, very good. Wave with your left, wonderful. So let us go. Please touch your shoulder with your right hand. Your left shoulder with your right hand. This is the right hand. Doop, 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 doop. Yes! So your shoulder, left shoulder with your right hand. Very good. Please touch your arm your right arm with your left hand so this is my left hand and we're gonna touch our right arm yes so your left hand touched your right arm very good you are good at this game now remember, you can play this game with anyone in your family. All you need is to tie a different color on your hands for the right hand and for the left hand and you can have so much fun with this game. I want you to continue practicing at home with anyone who is there with you. Now let us try and finish our exercise and turn to page 3. On page three, we are going to be tracing continuously with a blue crayon on the dotted lines. Now the blue crayon is there. I'm sure you can see it where you are. And I want you to take it. We are going to start at the arrow. So you're going to go round the arrow. So I am going to do it here and you are going to do it at home. Now remember, this is Lazy 8. He is sleeping. He is resting. And we want to trace him. So I want you to slowly start where the arrow is. I am going to try on the board and you are going to do it on your book. Are we ready? So take your pencil and we're going to start where the arrow is. And we're going to go. Are you ready, everyone? Let's go. We will do the arrow side first so it's round. Please take your time and don't rush because remember, he's a lazy eight. <laughs> remember, you can stop, but make sure that you do not lift up your pencil. So when we get to where the arrow is, we are going the other direction now. We are going to make our round. Remember, don't rush. Take your time. And if you need to stop, you can stop. It's okay. Just make sure that you continue without lifting up your pencil. So now we are back where we started. Here it is, our lazy eight. Did you do it? Well done. And I want you to try again, but this time with your finger. So we're going to start and let's go with the arrow round. Very good, everybody. Keep going round and make sure you follow the lines you have made. And when you get back to where the arrow is, we are going to go the other way. So let's go round. Very good, everyone. Wonderful. So this is how we do our lazy eight. I want you to continue practicing by yourself and just like the game with the left and right, you can even exercise with it. Right, left, right, left. <laughs> Have fun, my children, and I will see you just now after our short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? 
please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our next exercise, boys and girls, please can you turn to page four. On page four, we have some beautiful things there. And it is our job to color the soft things or objects blue and the hard ones red. Now, before we get into that, let us try and find them here in the classroom. So I have a few things in the classroom that are either red or blue colors. So we are going to find out which one we are going to be coloring with red or coloring with blue. Now remember, on this side is our right hand, so it has red. So anything that is going to be hard, I will put on this side. And then anything that is going to be soft, because I have blue here, will be on this side. Let's see. So we're going to start. Let's start with Mr. Lion. Mr. Lion is, what do you think? Do you think he's hard? Well, when I squeeze him, he's very cute and cuddly. He feels nice on my hand and he doesn't hurt me. So, if I smack Mr. Lion, I'm not getting hurt. So, I can say Mr. Lion is soft. So, we are going to put him on the blue side. So, Mr. Lion, take a seat. The next thing that is here is a pillow. The pillow is soft and when I move it, it makes very big movements. There we go, I can scrunch it up. I can sleep on the pillow. <laughs> so our pillow is soft. So we are going to put him on the blue side. And then I have a toy lorry. There it is. It's a toy lorry. And if I try to move it, ooh, it is very, uh, it is hard because when I try to squish it, it doesn't change its shape. So I am going to put it on the right side and say it is hard for red. And then I have here a file. Now the file, it looks soft when you touch it, but when you try to move it around and squish it, it is not moving. <laughs> So we can say that this file is hard. So I will put it on the red side. And then I have a tissue. Now the tissue, it feels soft. And when I scrunch it up, it does change shape a bit. So it feels soft in my hands and on my face so the tissue is soft so we are going to put it on the blue side along with mr lion there we go and last thing we are going to try the sweet jar now the sweet jar it feels smooth and soft but when i try to scrunch it up or change the shape it doesn't budge, so our sweet jar is hard. There we go. Now you are going to go and try and find all the objects on your exercise. Take your time, ask anyone at home to help you to decide whether it's hard or soft. Remember, for the hard things, you are going to color them red. And for the soft things, you are going to color them blue. Have fun and remember when you're coloring to color in one direction. 
I will see you after your exercise and after this advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson. And remember, boys and girls, it's okay for you to try, try again. If you didn't understand anything, just ask an adult at home and they will help you. Now, after every lesson, my dear friends, we need to sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and put a bit inside your hand and we will sing our special sanitizing song. Are you ready? Wonderful. Let's go. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Yay! Well done, everyone! Now, I wonder, he was supposed to come earlier on, but I think he got busy playing. Have you seen Sashi anywhere? Sashi! Hello, Sashi! Where are you? Oh! <laughs> There you are, Sashi. Hello. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>